Hello everyone, KV here, and welcome back to Shantae and the Creepy Thing in the Background, or as we like to really call it, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, part of Summer of Shantae. In the last episode, we began this new labyrinth, or Dungeon Evil, whatever you want to call it, the Oh, the Oubliettes of Suffering. It's it's a French word, I'm bad at pronouncing French words, I apologize. Man, this background is really detailed, look at all this cool stuff. We've made significant progress through this labyrinth. I mean, look at our map right here, and actually that brings up an interesting point. Um, our map did not look like that when we got the map. The map in this in this uh, labyrinth actually lies to you. It says this is the map, but there's actually a lot of hidden areas that it doesn't show off. Kind of interesting thing that, but it's not something I noticed and not something I showed off to you quick enough for us to notice, so I apologize for that. In the last episode we also got the best item in the game. Risky's boots! They are amazing. They make everything so much awesome so much more awesome in this game. They lost you a cool, cool little dash, and they are the speedrunners bread and butter as far as I'm concerned. Now then, in this room we could go back the way we came, or we could go down a fun little time here in the hell mine. Okay, that's not what it was really cool. It's called the the Oublier of Suffering. It's 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 a place where we torture people and they suffer and stuff. I mean, technically, if I think about it, if oublier is technically supposed to be the French word for for a torture, I forget if that's actually the correct uh, correct definition, so I apologize. That would mean it's the torturing of suffering. That's what this dungeon is translated to. It's we're torturing. I guess oh, yeah, that makes sense. We're torturing you, and there and therefore making you suffer. I love this place. It's such a nice place. I want to take a vacation here. <laughs> Well, except for the, the, those creepy little blocks in the background. No, no thank you to that. I would not like that very much. Now then, we're going to use this guy to jump on up here. Some cool little platforming uh, gimmicks, or not gimmicks so much as it is kind of this quick little beat the clock before the timer runs out by using all the tools we have available to us and, of course, jumping everywhere. We want to go into here. We're going to get some fun stuff in here by using our pistol, using our hair. Ah, excuse me. Sorry, I don't mean to burp that often. Um, and doing what we can. There's a heart squid up there. I would love to get that guy, but we have to take a bit of a long convoluted route because, believe it or not, that cage is a false. You can actually tell if that cage is false because it won't have... Oh, no, it does actually. It has the track right there. But that switch actually activates this platform right here. We use that to get all the way back up here. And now we're going to go in here and fall down to get that heart squid, getting us all three heart squids of the... Oublier of suffering. I'm not quite sure why the heart squids are here. If they're too adorable and cute. Why are you torturing these guys, you jerks? I don't know, but uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And by cookie, I mean like the freaking, freaking netherworld of essentially. Remember that old Beetlejuice cartoon, that like weird one from the '90s that was like almost had nothing to do with the film at all, other than name and character, other than character names. They they went to they went to the underworld, which they called the Neither World in that for some reason. I'm not sure if they were supposed to be called Never the World, and that was just like the voice actor's like weird pronunciation of it, or whatever. It was just that was a really surreal show. I kind of get a lot of like vibes of that show kind of in this area, this uh, the entire area, the Village of Lost Souls, and this labyrinth itself. I mean, it's definitely much more like red and kind of like fire based, like the traditional like Satan type of hell you'd think of. But I definitely kind of get vibes of that, too. It's very weird and wonky as well. Speaking of weird and wonky, hello there! I'm gonna get you out of the way, and then there's plenty of runway for us to do and use our new fancy tool, the Risky Boots. Let's take a risky move and dash our way to victory. I love this item so much. You can go through fire, you can go through those great blocks, you can go over this, oh my goodness. Risky Boots! It's amazing. They're, they're 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 awesome. Now then, we're back here in the cage room. There's actually this switch right here, which we couldn't hit previously. We need to use it to line up these three guys. You could have tried your best to line these three up, but no matter what switch inputs you do on these six switches, you'd never be able to make them in this line. You gotta be right here to do it, unless there's some kind of speedrunning tactic that I don't know about. But maybe I'll find out eventually. This is re being recorded right before SDGQ, and they're going to be doing a run of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, so, uh, this will be definitely, this will be, it'll be, this video will be long after that has happened, but, uh, hopefully it'll be a good run, and I can probably put in editing of what happened with that, because it'll be pretty awesome to watch. I'll probably be watching it regardless of if I'm there live or not. 
because I'm excited to see what speedrunners do for this game, because it's going to be pretty freaking awesome. Now, there is a gust right here, so be a bit careful, because otherwise you'll go too high and hit those flames, and that won't be a good time for you. Hello, Mr. Save Guy. I see you here. I see that you want us to save, and you know what I'd say to that? I say fully on that. We're Shantae, and we're amazing. We can take on whatever's behind this door by running into the wall with relative ease. Yeah, so, yeah, I knew we kind of ended a very weird spot in the last episode. So, here is the Oublier of Suffering's boss. The Oublier... I'll stop trying to pronounce it. What is the boss? Why, of course, it's... Dagron, massively misspelled monstrosity. <laughs> what a poor guy! His name is spelled wrong. This boss fight can be a bit tricky. What you gotta do is you gotta run across the field using Risky's boots to hit these switches on the on the wall. The problem lies with how this guy runs around. These platforms that fall down, you need those to fall down, but they kind of fall down at random. And this guy, his tail, can destroy the platforms with relative ease. You want to hit him, you want you have to get on the platforms to get up, hit him in the face, and then have him come back down. There's multiple problems with this. A, that tail has a very bizarre hitbox. B, it likes to destroy stuff kind of willy-nilly, so if you put platforms down, he still has a chance to just kind of destroy them anyway. C, he has this other fire attack, and B, his flying around can be a bit hard to figure out. He always comes in a pattern, so if he was go right right now, if he's going right across the screen, he's going to go left across the screen in the second part. So you have to kind of figure that out and be on the move to keep out of major danger areas, and then be able to figure out how to get on top. Those platforms will also kind of start to disintegrate after a little while, so if you stand on them for too long, they'll go away. So keep that in mind as well. As always, if you don't, if you're having some trouble, keep some health items on you. That's always a good idea. Lobster tails or bento boxes do the most uh, recovery. So if you pick some of those up, fantastic. I just recommend you do, or hopefully get some good random drops. Cause that's kind of how I have these. And I am doing terribly at trying to just hit this one stupid switch. Wow, you're a dirk. You're <laughs> gonna say something else, and I said you're a dirk. So. There we go. Dirk is apparently now a bad thing. You're you're a you're a dwarf. Dwarf and vow number whatever. You're a jerk. <laughs> oh, futter futs. Let's eat the lobster tail and have a nice seafood meal. Get those platforms down. Oh what? I didn't even oh come on man. Dagron is hilarious in just who he is because he's just he's he's a mis he's massively a misspelled monstrosity like literally the fact that his name is technically spelled wrong he should be called Dragon not Dagron is the reason why this guy is such a fusser futz he's such he's such a fuss and fret you know and I like that he was actually alluded to when we first entered the labyrinth the entrance to the labyrinth actually mentioned like hey I'll prepare Dagron for entertainment so like he knew what was going on and I I don't know what I'm doing apparently. So we kind of were, we kind of learned about who the boss is going to be right away. Why is this so? Why are you being such a butt? Okay, wait. There we go. There we go. There we go. That should work. And no, maybe not. There. Down, down, down. Die, die, die. Please, please die. I guess not. See some monster milk on me. I do. I do. Let's see some monster milk, and try to take this guy down before problems arise. I mean, problems have technically already arise, but, uh, we can try our best to get rid- oh, okay, he's dead. Shish, shish, shish. Oh boy, Dagron, you can be a bit of a toughie. Uh, that's definitely for sure. Definitely one of the more tougher bosses of the game. In my opinion, anyway. All comes down to how you strategize the fight, and since I was not optimizing it that well, that's probably more on me my end than anything else. Anyways. Tinkerbats again. Hey. Hey, get back here, you! Okay. Another map. Hmm. Well, let's take this here map. We've got on the map to Frostbite Island. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Hello. I wait for you. Oh, hello, sir. I make good friend with Joker at door. He know left fist and right fist by name. Village of Lost Souls, all free to go. You just opened up hell, apparently. Good job, sir. 
That's wonderful! But not all want to go, I think. Some, they wait for someone important to come back. Like I did. Okay, I leave to find my little girl. I remember more and more each time. Oh, I have a gift for you! We got a lost soul! Hooray! One soul. I find him lost in village. New arrival, maybe? He's sleeping now. Maybe you could wake up. Fly away, okay? Take him. Okay, sure. Good luck to you. We'll find what we look for one day. I hope so. You're looking for your little girl, huh? Well, hopefully you'll find her someday. Maybe she's not right under your nose. Possibly. Now, with Risky's boots, we can get a few quick things here in the Village of Lost Souls. Like, hitting that to get some money. The <laughs> lovely that. There's actually a heart squid we can get here. It's in a very nice location. It is all the way over here. Past all these guys. Apparently they don't want to leave. They want to stay here and just be dead, I guess. That's that's fine. That's that's reasonable. You might not have actually a physical body to go back to. We know that uh, What's-Her-Face probably actually does, but... She might not know that herself. Alright, archers, I just, want, I just don't want you to be there. I just don't like you being over there. You're in the way. I'm whining about these guys being in the way. I should have actually upgraded the pistol to do more damage, but that's that's my problem, not there as well. I'm getting a lot of watcher tails. It's actually being very, very helpful, so I appreciate it. Okay, then. Hello, Naga. Get out of here. No, no. Out. Out, 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 out. Ouch, 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 okay. Hit this switch over over yonder. So you can raise up this platform. You need this so you can have a nice, decent runway to activate Risky's boots, because we can destroy... We can destroy... We can destroy these gray blocks and get a heart squid. Now, there's not much else we can do here right now, so we're going to be heading out. We'll probably be back here later for some more stuff that we need to pick up. And we have to go through Mudbog again. Yay! Well, luckily, we should have a Pirate Flare on us if I remember to pack that. We do! Hallelujah. So we're going to be passing on by you, Mr. Save Guy. Going all the way over here, destroying some Nagas in this wall, and guess what? One more Heart Squid on our way out. Awesome! Possum Blossom. Now then, let's go talk to the gatekeeper, because apparently our quote-unquote friend punched him a lot. <sighs> the Wanderer has freed others. Beepity, 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 boop, 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 boop. If you wander... Oh, not that kind of wander. Oh, sorry. <sighs> The balance is broken. The master will not be pleased. The master? The pirate master, right? Ah, uh, whatever. We have a pirate flare. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm not gonna have to backtrack the mud bug if I don't want to. <laughs> I'm leaving. Bye bye. I left hell. I hope you have a nice time. Bye bye. We're done with that. You're back. Apparently you made it through. By the skin of my teeth. I found your boots. Risky boots. Hilarious. And the source of the Pirate Master's evil? I took care of it. Then let's clear out of here. There's no time to waste. And with that, we now have access to the next island, Frostbite Island. Ooh, I am so excited for that. But we have some other things to take care of, and we'll be taking care of them next time. So, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. And also, what the heck happened here? We'll find out next time. If you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. These fantastic games are all available on Nintendo 3DS. Please take them up and give them a shot if you can, because they're awesome. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day, and until then, the mystery of Scuttletown will have to wait. What the heck happened here? <gasps> they converted into a long-range cannon!
those jerks. Ciao.